Good evening, family, and thank you for coming back to our channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World with the Family Affair. Okay, that's who we are, and that's who we be, and let's get on into this. Okay, shall we? Oh, I rhymed. I rhymed. I didn't know I was going to do that. But anyway, okay, good, good, good. Okay, but I want to say Happy Easter for all the ones who celebrate the resurrection and the death of jesus christ our lord and savior praise the lord hallelujah and we definitely need him in these times uh of this pandemic going on with us okay but thank you for watching our channel and y'all y'all see the pictures flowing y'all see the pictures flowing so y'all know who we finna get ready to talk about or have a discussion i should say who we gonna be chit-chatting with and it's all allegedly it's all my opinion then y'all get in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about the scenario but i really 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 didn't want to talk about it until i knew that this woman thelma ferguson okay she read with feels mom was safe and sound okay because i had my two opinions that i had put out there and i was like Sheree, Sheree, Sheree. It's Atlanta Wood Hollywood calling you again. And you want to be a part of the team. Because I'm still trying to figure out, Sheree, what happened to them joggers? Okay. What happened to your fashion show with no clothes? Okay. Girl. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I tell you, I don't know. But I'm just going to go on right out and tell y'all my perspective of what happened to Sheree Brickfield mom. I said, Lord, that woman don't got amnesia or she don't got dementia. Okay. She might be going through Alzheimer's. Bless her whole bless the whole i hope they find and then i got on charade like why are they not keeping up with their mama because usually alzheimer's don't come on uh to you that's when your brain cells start to die and all that stuff you get dementia and it goes on into the first stages of alzheimer's don't believe me check it out get a book research get on google all right but basically to me if you love your loved ones you're gonna check on them repeatedly okay repeatedly you're not gonna check on them every month every two months every three months or whatever and i don't care they all be saying age ain't nothing but a number getting down ain't nothing but a thing no that was a leo but we, you get the point of what i'm saying i don't care if they taking a trip to the next county you check on them later on that day to see how they are they are faring okay because she said miss thelma just pick up and go whenever she feel like it it was uh, you know it was nothing to them to worry about their mom when she said she needed to get away she needed to go uh do this that and the third and she gone you know to another country another state or whatever but she fine are you kidding me in these days and times are you kidding me she ain't with you your mom is too old to be trying to figure out and say where she gonna uh, where she ain't gonna tell y'all she going. No, we expect our we expect our children who are not even in high school and the ones that are in middle school or high school. We still want to know where you at. Who parents gonna be around? If parents are gonna be around, when you gonna be coming back? Especially with our boys. Okay, we want to know these things. Cause the cops will be don't have them hemmed up somewhere, interrogating them, and we don't know what's going on so that was my idea was she catching this illness called uh, alzheimer's disease then i thought about her storyline and that that uh lack of of a storyline and is she trying to is she trying to get back on television and this would be a perfect ideal situation for her to claim to fame that her mother's missing and we watch all the developments unfold but in actuality her mom just went somewhere she knew where she was she just wanted to report that she was missing for a storyline now that's what i thought too okay i ain't gonna lie to you it just crossed my mind it might cross y'all mind too but y'all don't want to talk about it but that's why we got my platform you could talk about it and you don't have to be worried about somebody's coming in saying you stupid why you do this even though you're gonna have those ones but i do a quick fact in a hurry just going to dismiss their comment because you know they don't want to talk about it they want to fuss about it but i want to talk about it all right let's talk about this situation so y'all heard what i felt about the scenario is it for a storyline honey are you trying to get into another reality show or you're trying to knock back on bravo's door you trying to increase your presence on social media i don't know you need you probably need to get you a youtube channel and do like the rest of these uh housewives got going on on the side you know to build their prep 
platforms even larger as well as to stay in people's minds keep them relevant out there in them social media streets okay but yeah sure that's what i thought you were playing up a storyline and i like that two-tone color on you you should try to embrace it a little bit more but you know it just is what it is but yeah you don't let your mom one thing you don't do as your mother age as your father age or any other significant relative that you just love you with their age you have to be very cognizant of their state of mind their mental health you definitely got to stay in tune with that on a daily basis okay especially with the corona running out here they just might be in plain fear but you just don't let your loved ones go out willing nearly like they young carefree and they can take care of themselves and they don't need to let you know where they at at all times that's a bull face lie okay that's too much fake foolery fuckery fraudulent and shitty activity going on so i think i want to tell you to do better when it comes to your mom you say you love her then you need to put the foot down on her like she put the foot down on you when you were younger and you were living your life carefree she wanted to know where you were so she should have not wanted to know where you were who you were with what y'all were doing and when you're gonna be back home okay those are just the rules good rules to follow but anyway let's go and see what cbs 46 uh and our neck of the woods of atlanta georgia thought about uh, Miss Sheree Whitfield, mother being found in an article that Angela Vasquez had put out there on this topic of discussion. Okay. She said, Mother of former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Sheree Whitfield found safe. Okay. Sandy Springs, Georgia. The mother of Real Housewives of Atlanta cast member Sheree Whitfield has been found safe after missing for more than two weeks. Damn, Sheree, how long she been missing? A month? Before you want to come out and let anybody know that your mama was missing. Girl, if my mama was missing and I had the opportunity or was afforded the opportunity to hit all these local uh, or shit nationally news broadcasting systems about my mama being missing. Honey, I've been the first one out there uh, calling somebody for help. Not just, you know, I, I'm going to look at it as invasion of my privacy. Uh-uh, I want my mama back. So no privacy would have been uh, deemed something you couldn't unturn or tell me what you wanted me to know to help you find my loved one okay it wouldn't have been no mystery it would have been no uh you gotta have this you gotta pay me this no i need your help could you find my mom okay we would have been in all the social media outlets even the top bloggers in atlanta okay but they said she missed them for more than two weeks right now you know that ain't right Okay, but moving on, it says Thelma Ferguson, which is Sheree Whitfield's mom, has been last seen leaving her Sandy Springs residence on March 23rd. The independent mother and grandmother is still very much full of life and known to vacation on her own, sometimes without notifying others, according to her daughter. Now, see, you just don't do that. You just do something wrong when you, if your mother, unless she had this uh, type of activity going on when she was in her 30s and 40s, but as you got older, you should have put your foot down, Sheree, and told her, no, mom, you, mm-mm. You better answer your phone when I call. I ain't going to call them many time, but I want to know that you're safe. Because anybody can be a target out there. When you're traveling alone, they know you alone or whatever. They'll try to take advantage of you. Hit you in your head, take your po- pocketbook or whatever. Or uh, molest you, rape you, throw you in the trash can. And then you never be found. We don't want you to be like that. So, yeah, you going to tell me. Okay, I want to know the hotel you're staying at. I want to know the hotel number. I want to be able to call your number. I want to be able to call your number in your hotel room that you're staying I, I want to know these things. Okay? Okay, but anyway, yes, uh, that's just my sidebar. But anyway, going back, it said the independent mother and grandmother is still very much full of life and known to vacation on her own, sometimes without notifying others according to her daughter. On social media, Whitfield wrote, I was hesitant to post my concerns for my mother's safe uh, return because although I have been in close contact with the police for the past two weeks, I'm also pretty private when it comes to my family. See, I don't understand that, Sheree. Either you private or you not. Either you want help or you don't. Evidently, you ain't that private because then after two weeks of you not really been able to come in contact with your mother as far as verbally talking to her, you don't wait after two weeks to tell the police and other people to help you find your mom. Are you crazy? I think you're crazy, Sheree. Just like them joggers you never uh, brought out as well as that uh, fake type of uh, fraudulent foolery fuckery 
fashion show you had with no fashions to show okay do you need help sure in your mental capacity i'm wondering girl i'm just wondering but anyway moving back on uh to the story it said the former wife of nfl offensive tackle bob whitfield even issues in an exclusive statement to cbs 46 and hopes it will help bring her mother home we want to thank everyone for the enormous amount of love, support, and prayers that my family have received. Anyone who knows my mom, Thelma, knows that she is a free spirit who travels often, but she has never been able or she has never been away this long without communicating with us. We want to thank the Sandy Springs Pop Police Department for their help in trying to locate her whereabouts. At this time, we remain positive that she will return to us safe and sound. Please. Uh, Mom, please just come home to us or let us know that you're okay. However, good news came late Friday evening, just two days before Easter. Ferguson was located. However, authorities nor Whitfield immediately shared where the 72-year-old had been. See, now that's what I'm talking about. You want us to have prayers for you. You want us to be out there uh being attentive in case we see your mother or we recognize your mother and you want us to uh, inform the authorities but then you don't want us to uh get that happy news see that's what i'm saying Sheree, you're full of fake you just fake fraudulent food and fuckery just mess going on with you because you don't ask people to do what you want them to do and then when everything is hunky-dory good you don't want to give us an update that's some foolish shit right there uh Sheree. some foolish shit okay Oh, uh, but anyway, they found her, y'all. But then she didn't want to give us the information of where they found her and what really went on. You see what I'm saying? Whew. Anyway, some people moving back on to the uh, article that was written up. It says uh, Whitfield did, however, share a joyous poster for Instagram, thanking everyone for their prayers. And if you go on Sheree Whitfield's um, Instagram account. Or maybe it's a Twitter account. I think it's Instagram. You can see where she's thanking everybody for their hard work. But yet, she left the part out about where her mom was. You see what I'm saying? And where did she find her mom? And what condition her mom was in? Because, you know, if it was Alzheimer's related, if Sheree don't get her on the proper medication and fine-tune her uh, travel abilities and, and, you know, all of that, it's going to happen again. And it may not turn out. A pleasant one. You see what I'm saying? And you got to watch people like that. Especially if they still have the drive to want to do things. They want their independence and this, that, and that. You know it's being uh, compromised due to the illness. If it is Alzheimer's. Sheree, you should be whipped up to crack your ass. I'm just saying, girl. Do better, Sheree. Do better. Do better, baby. But anyway, that's all I had to have. Allegedly whooping her ass. Don't go out there and do that for real. I'm just saying it's just upsetting me that, you know, she want to tell us some, but she don't want to tell us the finale. You know, it's just like reading a book and it don't come to a conclusion. You see what I'm saying? You got to put your own perspectives of what happened. Like, no, we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that now. But anyway, that's all I had to say about Cherie Whitfield. I don't understand why she's still carrying her ex-husband's name. And he made her look such like a fool on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her kids are all grown. Why is she carrying his name? Is she thinking she's going to get something when he dies something? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that one either. But okay, uh, those you know who do, put in the comments what y'all I think about this article and why she keeping a man last name when he don't care a hill of a beans for her. He showed us that. But anyway, that could have been for TV too as well. But y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all felt about this situation. Did y'all feel the same? Did y'all feel different? Did y'all have any other opinions that what could have happened since Sheree is not spilling the beans on that? Um, let me know. I would love to hear from you. But, uh, yeah, I got to go to another video. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see y'all over on the next video I'll be spilling out to you all. And have a good night. And don't forget the Real Housewives of Atlanta. First part of their reunion come on tonight, I do believe. Okay. Take care.